Hello there everyone, it's Carol here from the Crafty Emporium. If you watch my videos regularly, you will have seen that I made some ATC cards, of which I present to you here. Now, a fair few people were, were a bit like, okay, so now what do I do with them? Well, I've come up with a few ideas and I thought I'd share them with you. The reason why I made these was I just wanted to make some little mini pieces of artwork, you know. I was in one of those slump days, didn't know what to do with myself. I'd got that piece of um, faux handmade paper left over, which was from another video uh, on the Mindful Monday series. And um, I thought, do you know what, let's have a little play. And this is what I came up with. So, as I say, I'm now going to go through uh, a few things that you can do with these. First thing I made is a little notebook using the Tim Holtz paper pack. So, I've made that. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to glue this onto some music paper. Now, so another question that someone asked me is what can you put on the back or do you decorate the back of your ATCs? That's entirely up to you, but it depends what you're going to do with them. So like here, uh, using it on top of a book notebook, there's no point putting anything on the back. But traditionally with ATCs, if you're including them with a swap, is that you would add... Hang on, let me get my ruler. is that you would add um, your details on the back. So you'd put your name on, the date that you created the project, if there was a, a theme maybe with the project, um, all that sort of stuff on the back, or you could add a pocket on the back. As I say, it depends what you're going to use it for. Just trying to very carefully rip these. And because I've got the British flag on it as well, I've, I've chosen a, a British stamp. Oh. Now I do know, before anyone tells me, that I can add my ruler that way. It's better off being on the bigger piece than it is on the little piece. But this is too bulky with the buttons and stuff on, so that's why I'm trying to do it rather haphazardly <laughs> with just the thin bit underneath my roller but yes under normal circumstances I would have my roller the other way around to tear it okay so I'm going to just ink that up so now I've got these pieces ready I'm going to glue this seam binding that I've already pre-coloured onto the back and I know it needs to go back there because I've already kind of pre-positioned it so I'll we'll glue on there and then I can put some glue on the top there And add that onto the front of my little notebook. And I also want to add this little stamp with good old Queen Liz on it. Since I've got the British flag, I add that there and then I've decorated the front of my notebook all ready to use second thing I can do with my ATC cards is make them into a little mini tag so I've got my template uh, plastic card here which I'm just going to line up And trim off that corner and then flip it over and do the same on the other side put 
punch a hole in the top. Ink those edges up, they'll just cut. And then get some seam binding that I've already pre-coloured. And I want about three lengths of the seam binding. So I'm going to snip them so that they're all individual lengths. And then I'm going to put all the loose ends through the hole. And instead of tying them, the seam binding together, I'm going to get this piece of jute string. I have to be careful with this stuff because I'm allergic to it. And then I'm going to wrap it around the seam binding. To pull it in and tie it all together. And I'm going to make a bow. Trim off any excess. Trim these down to size. And I've got myself a cute little tag. And of course I could add a pocket on the back as well if I wanted that I could then tuck something else into there as well. So that's project number two done. Project number three, I'm going to add a corner onto the back of this one. So I'm just going to use this as my guide for getting the width of it. And I want to include that flower if I can. So there. And there. And then I'm going to cut this off at an angle from corner to corner. I just want to ink it up. I'm going to glue along this edge and this edge here. it on that corner there so in fact I'm going to put it on that way okay so I've got the, the little corner on the back in this top right hand corner so when I'm reading a book not that I read music by the way, but I'm just using it as an example. I can then slot that over my pages. I'm needing to be careful because the glue's still a bit wet. And I've got myself uh, a bookmark. So that's project number three. This one's project number four slash five. Okay, so there's two projects in one with this one. So if you are into swapping, ATC cards with maybe friends uh, and you want to save them and make a little booklet to store them in because originally they're, they're stored in the, the plastic wallets um, but if you want to make a little booklet that you can then have several little booklets then on, on a book stand then this is for you so I'll just show you one quickly that I made here so I've made one with little pockets in for you to be able to store the work in all right so that's that and i'm going to show you how to make two different versions of this both versions use file folders 
and I'm going to use this one which is the square cut file folder which is normally what we get here in the UK in America you have easy access to these cream colored file folders now it doesn't matter whether it has a tab on it or not uh, as I say this is a square cut file folder so it's square edges and it's got the square tab at the top there all right so basically what we're doing with whichever file folder you use we're opening it up but then we're spinning it round so that it's on its side so it now opens this way and that's because it gives us a nice great big expanse of card to utilize now the atc cards traditionally measured two and a half by three and a half inches and so we want to want to cut a strip off of here to be able to accommodate the depth of the card plus the fact we want to make a pocket. So I'm going to fold that back up. And with my paper trimmer, I'm going to cut off a five inch strip. And then with my scoreboard... Place my card on there. I want to form a pocket at three and seven eighths. Yeah. So three and seven eighths down there. So that's one half of the half holder done. And then I'll flip it over and do it again on the other half so that I can now fold that up and i've formed now the pocket that that card will now sit in okay now we know that the card itself measures two and a half inches wide so i want to make a pocket that's wide enough to fit my card in so if i do it to two and three quarter inches wide that allows enough space for the card to to fit in there and I'm lining this centre fold up with the two inch mark at the top up here just because it's easier and measure two and three quarter inches. So there's one, there's two and three quarters and score. And then I'm going to move that score line down to the two inches mark again and do it at four and three quarters. Again, move that score line down to the two inch mark and score at four and three quarters. Now I've got this bit of excess card here. I'm going to hold on to that for the time being and do something with that maybe a little bit later on. But I'm now going to spin this around and measure two and three quarters inches along this edge. So I'm going to line this side up with the 10 inch. So that's the centre fold again of the card. And one, two and three quarter inch takes me to seven and a quarter. So I'm going to score there. And then I'm going to move that across to the 10 inches. And score at seven and a quarter. And then move that across to 10 inches and score at seven and a quarter and again i've got a tiny little piece that's extra here now depending on the file folders that you use it will be different pieces that end up um different widths that end up at the the end of your length of card i'm now going to concertina these up so this end here is going to be the top so i want to fold that over and then burnish that fold the next one i'll fold down so as i say we're just basically concertinering these folds and burnishing each time we fold them So 
so that's what we now end up with is that with these extra pieces on the ends here so now we've made this up i just want to talk to you about these two end pieces that were excess to the actual folds so i could just actually cut those off or uh in fact let me just cut that big one off because it's it's too big Okay, so I'm left with just the little one at the back and I could fold that forwards because what happens is by the time I've put my cards inside of these pockets then that could act as the little buffer to the edge of the booklet to square it off to protect the edges of the inside of the book. All right. Now you don't have to do that. You could just cut it off, which is what I'm going to do. All right. So then I just decorated the front of my book with a piece of decorative paper and also the back side as well. But before I stuck the back side piece on, I glued a piece of um, seam binding on top for on top of the folder first and then put the paper on top of that to secure the seam binding in place now you have two options after this okay so you can either leave it to open it up as a concertina piece all right so it opens up like that so then you can see all of your atc cards in there all in one go or you can make it into a booklet like i did with this one where i've glued some of the pages together so that it now opens as a little book and the way in which i did that was if i stand it on its edge I glued this page to this page so I glued those two together so that it does that and it now forms a swing page okay and then I glued that one to that one so that would be glued together and those two would be glued together and it now forms a little book where you've got the front cover the back cover and two pages within there as well so doing it like this you end up with one two three four five six sections to be able to store atc cards in now one of the things that you might think about doing is actually gluing these pockets down right is putting a little dab of glue on there and sticking it down at each of the fold points i would actually suggest not to do that um because when it's all folded up it keeps the atc cards in 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 the right place anyway uh, but when you open it up you might find that they tumble a little bit i wouldn't worry about that too much but because if you glue it down then it can have a tendency to ruckle the card up when it's actually folded okay so you would actually leave it sort of um unglued all right so that's one way and you would decorate this piece of card in whichever way you want with washi tape with decorative papers with tissue paper whatever to be able to create the effect that you want to make yourself a little booklet to store your atc cards in so again i'm using the full width of the file folder and i'm going to cut this to a three and three quarter inch strip Okay, so it opens up like that and I'm now going to go off and go and crease this in the same way as I did that little booklet with the same measurements at one two two and three quarter inches I'm going to cut off those extra little pieces there at the ends And then I'm going to concertina fold, making sure that it's all nice and square. So now what I can do is I can just glue these in place on the each of the individual sections.
I'm not going to do it. Just pretend that I have. So they will all be glued in place there. And then obviously that would then concertina shut. Again, you could stick these two pages together and these two pages together on the back side to make it into a booklet. You could glue them on around the three sides to make a pocket. And then you could put a piece of paper inside of the pocket to be able to make a note of who actually made the ATC card, if that's what you want to do, or if there's a little story to it. And then you would decorate just pretend that that's all glued in place <laughs> you would then fold that up and then you would turn it over to the back side you could decorate all the back side if you want unless of course you're sticking those pages together to make pages and then you could decorate the front and the back cover and you've made yourself a nice little booklet with all the ATC cards in all right, so there's lots of different options with this little concertina folded strip to be able to store your ATC cards in. Um, project number six is I'm going to put some in a picture frame. Now you could use a piece of canvas um, that you've painted or decorated in some format, um, but I'm going to use this picture frame that I found um, and I can fit three in beautifully now if you're going to put them in the likes of a picture frame or or put them onto a piece of canvas then i would suggest if you've been in a swap and there's information on the back photocopy that information because what i could then actually do is to glue that information to the back of the picture frame or the back of the canvas so i've chosen this piece of um 12 by 12 scrap paper out of a tim holtz <coughs> excuse me out of a tim holtz paper pad and it is just the right length for the piece of board that's going to go on the inside. I've removed the glass as well because I, I don't want the glass to actually flat flatten the ATC cards because they're quite dimensional. So I'm going to glue this onto the back of this here. So I'm just using my collal glue to glue this piece of board put it on that side onto the back of the paper here and then I can just trim off the excess and then this piece can then sit inside of my picture frame Push the clips down to hold that in place. I'm then going to put on the back of these some foam tape to make it stand out from the board. And before I take the backing off, I'm just going to sit it inside so that I can just check on the positioning and the arrangement of the three cards that I'm using. Well, hopefully you can see those three now. So as I say, I can just check on the arrangement and I actually think I want the, that one there, that one there. And now I can peel off the tape and glue those in place. So that would be my idea. Number six is to put them in. A Obviously, if you've got a more rectangular picture frame, you could include four of the ATC cards. But it was just another idea because they're such beautiful um, little pieces of artwork. They just are lovely to hang up on the wall. So I hope that gives you some ideas of what you can do with your ATC cards and uh, that it inspires you not only to make some of your own or get involved with a swap, but also then create something with them once you've got them made up. Thanks for joining me again today and I'll see you again real soon. Bye for now.